My favorite part about ranching is being a steward and recognizing the treasure that we have here. Our intention is to leave it better than we found it. As farmers and food producers, we've been sustainable for generations, if not centuries, because the goal is to uh, leave our land base in as good a shape or better for the next generation than what we received it. I'm a fourth generation rancher. My kids and my nephews will, will hopefully be the fifth. When I think about the environment and the impact we're having, I think it's a positive impact. The healthier the grass, the healthier the water, the, the healthier our animals are. Cattle production occurs all across Canada, but, but the vast majority of the time where you see cattle being raised, it's in places where it's too hilly or too stony or too dry or, or too boggy to raise crops. Grazing in grassland ecosystems was part of the normal evolution of that ecosystem to start with. So grasslands that are not grazed are not healthy. The cow-calf sector is a grass-based production system. That grass feeds the cows, that grass contributes to maintaining watersheds, that grass helps sequester carbon, that grass helps keep the soil in place, that grass helps support biodiversity and it helps support the natural environment. There's a lot of stuff in the media now about our environmental footprint. I would like the public to know that most of us try very hard to uh, do things properly. Most of our land is native grassland that's never been cultivated. And of course, as science progresses, uh, we can see more and more things that we do that can be harmful or, or things that can be beneficial if we're smarter about it. The other sector of our industry is, is the feedlot sector. So a lot of animals are all brought together where they're managed on a pretty high tech system to get them to grow as efficiently as they can. One of the uh, criticisms will come to the use of grain in, in beef cattle diets in Canada with our feedlot production systems. But the truth is much of that grain has already been discarded from use for human consumption. We're about 25 miles from a, a grain ethanol plant. The byproduct that comes out of those plants is excellent, excellent, high quality feedstuffs that we can feed the cattle. So it's a form of recycling that we can do here on farm. We're utilizing resources the best we can. One of the environmental impacts that there's been a lot of questions about is water use in beef production. Water gets used, but the water doesn't get used up. It cycles, it goes back into the river, it evaporates, it rains down or snows down again. People want to know if the water is clean and clear. We drink our water here, right from the ground, from the same trough that the cows drink from. By producing beef, we are maintaining the natural environment. And by raising cattle on this grass-based production system, we're taking land that couldn't be used to grow other food and turning that into highly valuable, highly nutritious protein that, that benefits human health. We live off this land and uh, if we destroy it, it destroys our living and ourselves. Healthy food is raised on healthy land. This is where good food is raised.